Okay, practicing the learning or relearning the practice, whichever way. And let's just develop the night. Let's bring the bishop out. Now, this is one of those where, okay, let's take a look at the position. Don't need to go rush into castle because there's no immediate threat. So let's, uh, we could attack through the center here. But I don't want to wake up their bishop. So this is me in this particular game pacing the castling process. I'm going to bring the bishop through, x ray through to the queen. So the opponents allowing us time to get more pieces into the game. They've actually castled. We could castle. Now, is there a danger of castling on the queen side now or not? He does have a few pieces in front of his own king. I'm actually going to bring the queen here just to see whether or not we're going to attack the bishop before we go on castle, but also allowing us space to either kingside castle or queenside castle if we need to. So in this particular game, it's been appropriate not to castle too early. So I'm going to attack the bishop. It's probably not the right move. I think I've been in a similar type thing like this before. The computer's gone, no, you don't want to be doing that. There's no benefits for you doing it. So I'm still alert to any type of attack, but the pieces aren't out at the moment. I'm actually just going to take the bishop off the board. We've done the hard work getting it to there. And it immediately your brain goes, oh, I'm going to go here, but what's it doing there? You know, ideally, you'd want the queen here, coming across here, and you wouldn't want this knight here. That's not going to happen anytime soon, because even if we jump there, the pawn just jumps down, then we get kicked back. So now that the idea is potentially that we're going to attack on the king side area, may as well queen side castle and see if we can get our pieces towards that area. So it's stopping us from jumping here. This dark square bishop is kind of in the way, but I'm actually going to start pushing the pawns up and maybe try and give some space for the rooks, get them powered up towards their king. It sounds simple, but the concept, you know, if you understand the concept, it does work. It's just you have to place your pieces in the right places. It's not saying we have, but the idea was let's hold back on castling in this game because we were allowed to so we could put a few attacks in and get a bit of a better position weaken the king area so now we can potentially start attacking on their side they're looking to attack on our king side so you know it's not saying anybody's winning anything it's going to keep pushing the pawn lazy man chess the queen does have a diagonal towards here it doesn't mean anything. I mean, if he does take, then it opens up the rook. I don't think they will take. I think they will just leave it there like this and wait for the pawn to push up, which is okay for us, but that's for like the end game thing, kind of blocking the king's movement if they do go back here. Um, so, yeah, let's just do, put the check on. So he's actually escaping. So that was a nice move. So the king's going to go to the other side of the board. But it's a nice thing for us because it does make them kind of lose a bit of tempo because now they're having to move. So my brain is thinking there or maybe the queen attacking the knight. It's just that the knight is easily defended by the queen coming here or it can just move itself, which is better. I think getting the queen up here, and if the queen comes to defend, Ooh, it's all too long really isn't it get the knight here bishop attacks there bishop it's just not happening is it that's just too long it feels right can't push this maybe the knight comes here maybe we push on no don't want to 
disturb the king could come here put on attacks put on takes knight takes or even the queen takes get a bit of a diagonal that way I'm actually going to hit the knight he's got two pieces on this pawn so I'm assuming he's actually going to take here But secretly we're wanting to try and get this diagonal to get to here with the queen put a check on i know we can escape but it seems a little bit more positive positive. and if we did get that diagonal we'll be able to take the rook off the board it's not actually done any of that so taking then they take then we do have a bit of a check on the king here again obviously going for the exchange get the queen off Is there anything better? I don't think there is. I think that looks okay. Let's take. As usual, they don't have to take, they can just leave it. Pawns on their knight. We're kind of giving them things to think about from the early part of the game. And I think that just shift in mindset. We're not winning anything, but I'm just talking to myself here. Knight could take the pawn. Does that improve because we want to put the check on the queen is obviously going to go here yeah let's just continue with that don't want to overthink that i mean the king can move back again There's a lot of if buts and maybes. The queen does come down, but does it look different now that it's actually in this position? No, let's go with that. Does the king take? It's one of those situations where it's like, well, it looks like you're winning, but it's it's not it's set in stone at all. So we need to try and improve. At least we're taking this pawn here. That's where we sort her. Bishop's doing a grand job protecting here. Knight's attacking this pawn, but the king is defending. There's not a right lot really to be bishop. Bishop, maybe the bishop we said was potentially going to be coming here. Um, is there a better position? No, nope. maybe the knight comes and attacks their knight just to get pieces off the board. Yeah. Knight puts a check on the king, taking the pawn. Am I falling into a trap here? King can't come and get it. Don't need think that needs too much thinking about. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. So he has to go down or down one of those. And Rook can't go there because of this damn knight, so the bishop really probably needs to get into action. Uh, can the Rook come here? Getting ready to double. We attack the knight, the knight can just simply move, can't it? But if it does move, then we get in like a check. Checkmate. Oh, interesting. Mm, let's attack the knight. I mean, they could turn around and just attack our knight, couldn't they? Winning a bit of a. Yeah, they have done as well. So we take, they take, and he's got a 2 on 1 on this pawn. Oh, it's a tough one isn't it, it's a tough one, I'm just simply taking so I think if he does take with the bishop, then we can bring this back here, can't we? We've got the pawn supporting and the knight supporting. So if the bishop does take, then we can take, take.
but if he takes oh he does okay so bring the bishop here he's not going to want to get his rook taken off the board and i don't think we'll take with the knight because he'll just take our pawn so take with the pawn Mm, 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 mm. So plus two position looks okay. So they're doubled up. So if his knight does take, we'll just take back with our knight. And do we now? It's going to come for the pawn. It's going to come for that pawn with the knight. So I need to push this pawn here to stop his knight from jumping here to attack the pawn. And then we can look to bring the rook here. That's my thought process, it might be totally wrong. I feel like a totally different player. With, oh, he's um, whirlwinding. Coming here to attack this pawn, do we push? the rook here the rooks aren't doubled so he's probably saying i'm not scared here maybe what about our knight knight come into here it's not doing the right lot there though is it dun, 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 dun. So go there he comes here attacking the pawn or oh, does he is he attacking our rook i'm bringing the rook here Coming for the pawn, we go here. Does he got my rook somehow? Go check on the king. No. no. So now my brain's gone into quiet mode. Not really sure what's happening. Positionally, there's nothing clear, you know. So he's coming for the pawn. Has he got a whirlwind though to get my pawn here? We go there. Takes the, no, he can't take the pawn. Let's just attack the knight. I'm not clear where it's going. Comes back around to attack the pawn again. We push further up. Comes down to attack our rook. We attack him. Thinking we're winning some up, but then he goes. Um, I don't know. I don't know where he goes. Oh, he's probably coming down now to attack the rook. No, he's gone to the. Let's go up. Let's go up. When I go quiet, it's because I don't know what they're doing. And especially with them having a knight here, it's like, what is he getting? Is he getting a fork of some sort? Because that's all they go searching for. It's not going to come here. It's not going to come here. He could come go around or he could go here. And he can go here. He can also go here. So he's blocking his rook for a moment. That must be a moment that we can take advantage of by pushing the pawn. Or is it a knight move? Knight. Push. Past pawns want to be pushed. It's moving quick. Let's attack the knight. Has he got a check on my king? He does, but he gets taken. He gets taken. Let's attack the knight. Gives us space to jump here. Looks nice, but I don't think it's... It's got potential for maybe a little bit of a check, but we lose the knight. He's moved his knights and if we go here he's got this pawn knew there was a whirlwind somewhere ah, 
Um, just keep pushing. Now the king can get into the game. Uh, we could defend the pawn, but he's going to take our pawn. But he's not going to take the pawn because we have an x-ray through to his king. But this is just like a defense attack. I, there's nothing clear. He can bring his rook. Well, well, maybe he's not going to do that because we'll take the pawn here. So his king's probably going back again just to make a move. Or the knight moves and attacks the pawn. But he can't do that. Sorry, what am I about? He can't move the knight. So he can move the rook, but he loses the pawn. He can move this rook. I don't think there's much that we'll do against that. So we're not going to push. So he's got pawns to push. Could attack the king, but then the king takes. But then obviously we'll get the rook off the board, won't we? King takes the pawn. Come back around for the knight with a check on the king. King moves. Knight takes. Okay, let's see if that happens. We'll take. We're assuming he's going to take with the king. Doesn't have to. And this is my quiet moment of I don't really know what the opponent's going to do. It looks favourable for us, but oh my gosh, they've gone for it. Okay, so we'll take with a check. Well, not take, be manoeuvring for a check. Get this knight off the board. Troublesome thing. So we're only plus one. So that's no big biff. But positionally at the moment, it does feel like we're going to be whipping pieces off the board as best possible. I am going to take the knight off the board like we promised ourselves. I don't know if that's right though, actually. It is right because the king's here. Okay, what's that? Ooh. Let's just take. Taking a risk here. Somehow I don't think he's going to take. I think he's going to come for this pawn. It's not going for any palm. Yes, I took a bit of a risk. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, let's bring it up. I'll try and play some sensible end game here now. We are plus one. They've got a nice lated pawn here, but that could be to their benefit. If the king pushes down, gets his king round the back here, then he's on this pawn. It's going to be on our pawn. In fact, he's started already with the rook. Mm. Now I have to babysit the pawn. There was probably a better way of me doing that end of it, which might have given me a bit more advantage. I probably should have put some more thought into it. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece. So this can be a slow grind. Rook's coming down. Let's go here.
almost looks like he's trapped his rug but his rug can get a bit here sometimes people panic and think there's no escape but it's going to come round the back going to hit his king but that's about it so then his rook's going to be putting checks on us probably get one of these pawns off which we don't want to happen oh put a check on the king king has to move Ooh, attack this pawn king goes back nope takes the pawn off our pawns are more advanced up the board I see if we did do this and then he did do that then we take but then he's coming down with a check on the king we have to come round then he comes and attacks the pawn yeah that's not going to look pretty is it move the king back hate moving my king backwards in the end game it's, it never ends well never ends well at all hmm me can't come in here can't go backwards so probably here or here but like we don't like moving our kings backwards so I think he's going to prefer this square ooh yes he'll be a bit gutted having done that but he's still on my pawn so we haven't won anything in fact that's probably why he didn't go there because we could fly around here and get this off to attack the rook it's a bit annoying doesn't have to take though he can always swing back down come round the back and then my rook is trapped <laughs> in a sense but let's see so it's gonna kind of get these pawns this pawn and anyway even if he does take I don't think that's a very favorable thing for us because he comes here then we have to move across Zug's Wang situation kicking in I can feel it in my bones oh yeah he's, he's noticed it straight down there look down the middle ah oh, gutted oh my days how come I didn't see that His pawns are so high up there, I, I won't be able to get them. He's just going to go one, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine moves. One. I believe that was nine moves. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine moves. That's if he doesn't move any of these. Right, so that's nine moves for them. For me, sorry. 
So either way, maybe he takes here one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Damn, eight. Oh man, eight moves and one move behind. That's the only thing I can attempt to do though, maybe they don't see it, let's go, but yeah, I'm one move behind. Mm-hmm, a draw.